there has been a loud message that has been conveyed to us. One, that we need to get our act together. And two, that our young friends have to be a party to decision-making process. And three, when it comes to the issue of good governance, we have our obligation in respect of political, uh, economic, and socio-economic uh, 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 socio uh, governance. Three, uh, we have to make sure that we address the issue of flight capital over the, uh, from the continent. I was told by the and, uh, representative of the UNECA that as much as one billion US, uh, as much as one trillion US dollar leave Africa uh, on an annual basis. Four, that we need to address what we call the Dutch syndrome. That is, when there are resources, we have to make sure that the proceeds from the resources are judiciously used and used to widen the other productive sectors of the economy. And we have to make sure that we channel resources into education. And four and, and five, our friends have to know that much effort is being done to accelerate the economic transformation of Africa. We listened earlier to one of the pleas being made by one of our young friends on the penetration in the ICT sector. Over the eight years, the incidence of penetration in ICT sector has increased from 2% to 30 And uh, we know that there is unrestricted access to ICT, and we know the relevance of constant breakthrough in science and technology. Of course, notwithstanding what the Deputy Director of the World Bank has said, that we need to get our act together in respect of policy, of investment and institution. And we have no choice but to constantly strengthen institution in the name of good governance. At the same time, there are two continents. One is a subcontinent, and of course there is the African continent, which are being uh, most sought after, precisely because of one of a valuable asset, our young people. And I recall when uh, Mauritius was fighting to have its independence, there was huge or oh, massive unemployment prior to independence, and unemployment was rife among young people. We have no, up to now, of course, we have no uh, natural resources, our only natural resources are our human, are our human beings, our human capital. And what we did, we got our act together. We used the proceeds from the sale of sugar to widen our economic base. We invest in our human capital, and we consolidate sectors where we had comparative advantage. And uh, we, have, we make sure that we look at emerging sectors also. And this is what Africa needs to do. Africa needs to come up with a blueprint on the level of preparedness and what are the needs of Africa and how to prepare our people to respond to the needs of Africa. Africa is about to reach its golden age. There are opportunities knocking on Africa. One has to refer to the report prepared by Mackenzie on opportunities in Africa. And I would advise our young friends to peruse that document, Lions on the Move. There are opportunities knocking. We have to take up the challenges, however daunting they are. And with so much fire in the belly of our young people, we know that the future is guaranteed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Ministre. Alors, euh, avant...